to Lexi. I'm Janne. And we are from Chill and Bottom. And you are watching the Kerrang! podcast. Wow! Wow! Hello and welcome to the Kerrang! podcast. Here I am with Alexi and Jana from Children of Bottom. Uh, we're going to talk about Christmas and uh, the very special album that you'll be releasing in March. So firstly, let's talk about Christmas. How, how will you be spending the uh, holidays? Well, I'm going to hook up with my family. You know, I haven't seen my mom and dad for ever. I'm my sister either, so that's yeah, that's that's about it. Cool. What about you, Jan? I'm just going to be at home. Um, I'm tired of my family. Right. <laughs> and everybody else. So. Right. Will you, do you buy a lot of Christmas presents for people, or are you quite tight mm. around Christmas? No, I, I do. I mean, for my brother and my cousin and, you know, my closest ones. But then again, my, like... The immediate family, like my mom and dad, you know, I'm tired of seeing them over the Christmas, so not for them. All right, sounds like a happy time. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So what's a traditional Finnish Christmas like? Do you, is there any uh, traditions you kind of keep? I think it's pretty much the same, you know, the same shit that you guys have over, over here, except yeah. that, you know, we have like, you know, the, the Christmas Eve, you know, that's when, uh, that's when I get the presents. You have the morning, right? Like, yeah, we do Christmas it, morning. Yeah. Right, yeah. So I mean, I think that's the only difference. But yeah, we get the you know the dinner and the whole thing, yeah. and it's all about you know. For, for me, it's no, it's all about the dinner because mm-hmm. you know I'm not religious at all or anything. Yeah. But you know, I I love good food. So <laughs> it, it, well, it's, it's yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got nothing. Dinner, it's got nothing yeah. to do with Jesus. No, I, mean, that's yeah, I for hope sure. not. But, but you know, so about food. So I mean, what what kind of stuff do you have on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day? You know, all these um. Got ham, turkey, ham, turkey. You know, uh, also salmon. Mm-hmm. They prepared yeah, in sa- a couple of different ways. Um, the salmon, L, by the way. What? Salmon. Salmon. Yeah. <laughs> what did I say? Okay. And um, <laughs> I mean, you know, a lot of got some of that. Like um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean this. Like oven weird, cooked, uh, I don't oven know cooked what it's potatoes called. and oven cooked, um, like carrots and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, it's it, weird. I mean, I never actually liked them. I, I, I never knew how this. I never even heard an English trans- kind transformation. Of, this has to be something. Yeah. Bad. But those are really good and traditional Finnish um, Christmas foods. Right. Yeah. Awesome. It, did the Finns uh, use the Christmas holidays as an excuse to get drunk? Of course. Or, or do you not need an excuse? Well, that's what I do with my dad, at least, you know, like, you know, I was buy, <laughs> I bought my dad, like, a bottle of cognac, like, you know, really uh, expensive one. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, after when we were done with the whole dinner thing, and he's like, you know, son, let's have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're actually, you know, yeah, a couple of drinks, you know, with the dad, you know, it's all good. Sounds good. So, um, have you, Lapland is uh, synonymous with uh, Father Christmas. Uh, what do you call Father Christmas in Finland? Yolopukki. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, that was gay. Yolopukki. Yolo no, no, yolo. Yolo. Yolopukki. Yolo yeah. yeah. Excellent. So have you ever met him? Have you ever caught him in your bedroom? S- well, you know. Not in my bedroom, but I, <laughs> but, you know, when I, I did see him once. When I was a kid, you know, of course, there was yeah. a yolopukki at our house, uh, giving the presents every time. It, it was funny. I was like 10, 12 years old when I realized he was the neighbor, all drunk. <laughs> But still, I get drunk neighbor. Yeah. yeah. Well, then our dad would go over to their place okay. drunk. But you know, that's how you do it. Yeah, brilliant. In Finland, how how does uh, Yolo Poke uh, come into the house? Does he come down a chimney? Or no, no, no. He, he got he, a special he, key. He, to he's get he's supposed is, to, is he supposed to like you know, leave the bag of presents somewhere and then he shows up? Well, not not not, not not in my neighborhood. But <laughs> 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 like, it, okay, well. They they always told us that he he rode the sleigh and the radios, but. But somehow the reindeers need, needed to go somewhere to rest, so they were never to be seen. And, How convenient! You know, oh. I do remember one time that you know when when you know Santa came up you know into our house, and I was about like five or six years old, right? Yeah. And he, you know, I, I really, you know, I thought it was, you know, I thought it was the real deal, you mm-hmm. know. And then I saw him took off in a fucking Volkswagen Beetle. That's you know? not good. <laughs> I was like, there's something shady about that. Yeah. 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 Oh. And I also remember when I was, a, I was real young, I was like, you know, why, why is the Santa Claus drinking vodka with my dad in the kitchen? But <laughs> I, I guess it That's goes. That's wars. Yeah, I guess it goes with the deal. Yeah, so. definitely. At least my Santa was fucking driving. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I was never was, because he was the neighbor. But yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, that's a shame. So, I mean, what age did you stop believing? Or oh, is it good to believe even as an adult? Well, then, you know, when I heard Journey, I never stopped believing. 
good answer. Dude, that was so awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right, let's talk about your new album. Um, yeah. Yeah. Relentless, Re- uh, Reckless <laughs> Forever. It's coming out in March. Yeah. Um, how do you say it compares to Blood Drunk? <laughs> That's all you. Yeah, um, I just told him that, you know, we've been doing promo for today and he, yesterday, and we're going to do a promo for a couple of days. And we've been so happy that none of the... Um, um, Jerk-offs. Were, jer- jerk-offs. Were I'm du- sorry, journalists. Journalists. Yeah. Oh, sorry, journalists. <laughs> we're dumb enough idea. to ask us to compare it with the previous album because yeah. we hate that question. Okay. So next question. Right. Thank you. Quick, 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 quick. Please. Ha- how is how does the old album compare to the new album? <laughs> they have scripted, no, switched it around that, there. That doesn't well, I, work. That, <laughs> let, let me. I mean, I know. Yeah, it was a good trick, but we're not that fucking stupid. I mean, yeah, or, or, or not that. Anyway, yeah, but you know, that's yeah. debatable. Well, the point, you know, and then the point is that you know, I mean, you can always say, you know, what everybody says that yeah, it's better, it's heavier, it's more well played, it's uh, more well produced, all that fucking crap. But at the end of the day, you know, I mean, you have to hear it, you know. I, I can't I, I can't really explain, you know, how I'll, the new album is. I'll upload it onto the internet and give everyone the password. You, you're going to be back in April. You're going to be touring yeah. with uh, Amon and Yes. Uh, what can we expect from the new Children of Bottom show? I mean, we're going to be really excited about that whole tour because this time, finally, we're going to do... Um, Right after the release, we're going to do a full European uh, headline tour. And I'm really excited we're doing this because I think last time we released an album, we went to the U.S. or somewhere else. So, because, <clears throat> you know, we love our European fans and we love touring U- Europe and all that stuff. So I'm just glad that this time, right when the album comes out, we're going to do Europe first yeah. and U.K. along with it. Mm-hmm. And, and as you mentioned... Uh, Amon Moth is going to be the special guest on the UK dates. Yeah, I mean, that's on the UK dates, yeah. and that's why. But, you know, yeah. can't wait. It's going to be good. Yeah. Excellent. Absolutely, yeah, I mean, but, I mean, we've been, you know, we've been out rolling with Amon Moth uh, a couple of times before, you know, so we get along with the guys, and, you know, I'm, I, you know, we, we like them. So I think that, you know, it's it's going to be pretty, pretty fucking cool. Thank you for joining us in the Crank Podcast. No, thank you. Always. Best of luck with the album. Thank um, you. And uh, we'll see you in April. Yes, can't wait to tour UK and, you know, have a good time here. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.